Uh, let's look at another example. Similar idea, except now we're given the graphs and we have to draw H based on the graphs that we're given. So we don't have the equations. Um, we could make it though, in fact we will. But we're going to use the graphs and uh, create the equation of H based on that. Okay. So the one graph here, the blue one, blue on my screen, but it's kind of black and white on your paper. Blue is F, G is red. Can yeah. I just take a, a guess here and say it's just going to be a straight line? And why is it you got it. Yeah, good guess. Okay. So again, all we do is we add the Y values of each line. And that result will be the Y value of our new graph, H. Okay, so I'll plot that in green again. So let's see here. This is a value of 1 and negative 3. I add those together and I get... No, one minus three is negative two. Right? Okay. And then here I've got negative two plus nothing gives me how much? Negative two. Right? And then I've got what is this? Negative one plus negative one. Negative two again. You can see a pattern developing here. Negative, oh sorry, that's zero for a y value, plus negative two for a y value. Again, that's negative two. All right, and the pattern will continue. Each time I'll get a result of negative two. So, Joe, your estimate was spot on. Well, I said negative one, not negative Oh, okay. But the horizontal line estimate was accurate. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. Paper had an undo button. <laughs> Instead of eraser. Yeah. Maybe okay. So could you write me the equation of H? This is H of X right here. Oops. Negative two. Hmm? Oh, equals negative two. Oh, equals negative two. Yeah. Y equals negative two. Good. Okay. Uh so well not necessarily Y, we should say H of X. What is f plus g of 5? Negative 2. Throwing that in there. What does that actually mean? f plus g of 5. F plus g of x. Yeah, what is x? 5 times h of x. Negative 2. No. 5, 5, h, x is 5. x is 5. Right? Normally this looks like f plus g of x, right? And we just found that to be h of x, right? Which we know is the equation, negative 2. If I asked you what f plus g of 5 was, that's the same thing as asking what is h when x is 5, right? Well, y is always 2, or the value of h is always negative 2, sorry. So... I mean, if you just traced out to here, you would know that the y value for x equals 5 would be still negative 2, right? I just throw that in there because you'll see this notation in your book. But it's just basically asking what is your sum function when x is a particular value, in this case 5. Sometimes it could be 2 or 3 or negative 8, whatever.